All right, what is up, everybody? Coming to you with a Division 2 video of all things. I know it's been a while, but we'll get right into it. Came across a couple little issues with specializations up in mods, etc., with stability and accuracy. Probably already seen a couple things about it. I haven't been able to get the video up yet, but uh, let's get into it. But first of all, got the Sharpshooter specialization. Basically, it gives you 30% increased weapon stability. Which is kind of both accuracy and stability. Play division before. You know that accuracy is your weapon bloom as you're firing the crosshair spread. And stability is the kick or the recoil from the weapon. Now, the weapon stability thing, if you respec out of it, I'll my sheet real quick so you can confirm. Literally, no weapon handling, zero, zero on accuracy and stability. Okay. Now, when you go into it and you put the points in, Now when we go and look at the sheet, we now have 30 accuracy, 30 stability, but we have no actual weapon handling, what it's supposed to be. Now, a little strange, that front, and on the second front here when it comes to that, if I happen to switch to a weapon with actual weapon handling, what it's labeled as in Sharpshooter, and we go look at our stat sheet now, now, so at 30-30, but now we actually have weapon handling. So that's definitely an issue. i um, not sure how they're calculating this. Um, the other issue is that accuracy and stability seem to be not being calculated correctly. Um, it seems like accuracy is not being added to your stat sheet at all, or it's being overridden by stability. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. Um, but we're going to go test that right now, and I will show you. All right, so for this test, we are going to use an MK-16 assault rifle. Pretty basic, a little bit increased rate of fire on it. No mods at all to affect accuracy and stability. Um, the sheet here shows only the bonus from Sharp Shooter, like I talked about prior. And we're just going to get right into it. Fire once without correction and then with correction. Fairly accurate at this distance. Also do one a little bit farther. Trying to correct. Alright. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the weapon. We're going to add things like accuracy and stability. Right. And on and we'll go with that for now. Okay, so right now the total we have on the weapon is twenty accuracy, another ten accuracy, and then twenty stability. There's also a minus eighteen or sorry, minus ten accuracy here and then minus eighteen stability. So, realistically, accuracy and stability should be separate numbers. No matter what now? You look at your sheet, however, they are not. We are now down to 32% accuracy and stability. Okay. Seems like it's way worse. I'll hold the correct. A little bit better when you get close up. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take all the mods off. Point here. We're going to only put mods with stability on. And what I mean by stability is there's no accuracy stat on it at all. Okay, so like this, we're not going to put that on. i um, not going to put this one on. We're going to put this on. And then a, a magazine. Yep. Okay. So right now, we have a total of 20, 20, 20, so 60, with no minuses at all to accuracy or stability. If you look at our sheet, we magically have 90% accuracy and stability. Okay. Now we're going to fire it at this distance. I am not correcting. No correction whatsoever there. This is correction. Correct. 
fraction on that one. This one I'll just let go. I mean, you can see the, the pretty significant difference in bullet spread from the accuracy and the stability. So, definitely something wonky with uh, seeing stability with the weapons and what we're really going to, how they're going to fix it or what the issue really is. Um, it definitely seems like either stability is calculating against accuracy or the, the other way around or accuracy from your UI is pulling just stability. All right, now that I'm done being, as, you know, assaulted by a bunch of NPCs, I can get back to the testing. All right, so as we left off, we were at 90%, 90%, right? So just to prove the point even further, we stripped the weapon again. We're going to equip great accuracy item like this, for example. Right? Now, I don't think I actually have any straight accuracy for that. For that. Okay, so we're just going to leave this on here, right? So we should get 20% accuracy. There's nothing else to happen at all, as you can see here. And we go to our stat sheet. We're still at 30-30. Literally not counting at all on our stat sheet. Now... Not sure why, how that's exactly working. Um, let's, um, let's see if we can take away accuracy. How badly we can make it with the... Uh, don't want anything with stability on it, preferably. Guess we're going to settle for that, aren't we? Alright. My bullets reset. Oh, goodness, it's a great 8x scope. Now, mind you, right now, this is without correction. This is with accuracy. Correction. I mean, I should have, like, subtraction of accuracy right now. But I also have a bunch of extra stability, which is seeming to give me accuracy. And as you can see on the sheet, I took away a bunch of accuracy, but, you know, I have a whole bunch of it. So, definitely something the devs from Massive need to take a peek at, I think, and address. There's quite a few different issues with talents, uh, skills, um, all different things that I've come across with testing. That I'll probably make videos on as well. But, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully you guys are uh, learning a bit, and I will try to get some more videos out ASAP. I want to stop by the stream, twitch.tv forward slash or drop a follow there, or you can subscribe on YouTube here and click that bell icon for notifications if you'd like. If not, well, I totally understand. Hopefully you'll stick around and uh, catch some more Division footage. Thanks a lot, guys. I'm a scat man.